start with my time. Congressman Peters, abortion is not health care. And So there will be there will be no federal funds that will be allowed uh, for any kind of abortion coverage. In fact, uh, it was put in uh, during the Energy and Commerce Committee uh, by Representative Caps. This is the amendment here, and you can read it again: the prohibit prohibition use of uh, public funds for abortion coverage. Uh, affordability credit may not be used for payment of services. Uh, so the federal funds are not going to be used for the abortion services. The uh, there will be a, uh, when I talked about the exchange, this exchange, there's a variety of insurance options that are available to people who don't have insurance now, who want to buy into that, will have the opportunity to go into the exchange, or small businesses that want to have their employees pick from the exchange, and you'll have the option of picking from a variety of plans. There may or may not be a public option, I'm sure we'll get to that uh, at some point, but there'll be a variety of plans. But abortion services will not be part of any minimum plan requirements. What is uh, in the bill, though, is that in this exchange of a variety of, uh, of uh, insurance plans, some people may want to have abortion services in the insurance that they purchase. So the exchange says there, there needs to be, and there could be a lot on both sides, but the bill says there needs to be at least one insurance plan that offers abortion services, and there needs to be at least one plan that does not. But there may be, of course, a lot of them, but it allows people to pick the plan that fits their conscience and it fits their needs. So it is a very important. Thank you. 